Furkan, tell me about your off season. I know you were in Turkey. Can you explain, can you share with us why you feel so comfortable there? What makes your experience there special? I was in Turkey almost for like three months and then I was working out, I was spending time with the family, friends. That was really fun because, you know, it's a long season. We are getting tired, sometimes stressful. And long season, when you play for championship teams, it's even more. And overall, summer that we are looking for, we are looking for summer, you know, just to get in the vacation, spend time. And overall, it was really good summer for me. What is it like to be, what's the difference between being Furkan in Turkey and Furkan in Philly? I think in Turkish, I'm more funny. I'm more funnier. But in English, I'm getting there too, because I know uh, you guys are laughing most of my jokes. I don't know, it's about I'm funny or, uh, or my English is funny, I don't know. But uh, still, like, I'm happy about this, Trish. What's your favorite thing about the city of Philadelphia? Philly is a tough city, to be honest. It's a tough city. I think that's why I like Philly, just being tough, because if you just like being relaxed, normal, I don't think it's fun. And when you're stressful, when you're under stress, when you know somebody's knocking your door, when you play bad, then you're welcome to feel it. You're at an interesting point in your career because you're still young, but you've been here for a while. Do you consider yourself a young guy or a veteran? I consider myself as a veteran because I don't see myself as a young guy anymore on the court, off the court, because this is not just on the court stuff. I think overall, I had enough experience in this league to be a veteran. What are your goals then as a veteran for this team? What type of energy are you trying to bring to the veteran group? My only goal this year to win that championship because when I watch like those guys who is like wearing those rings, you know, posting photos to Instagram or after they get the ring and everything, I'm getting really jealous to be honest. Uh, why we were not there? Uh, because we had a lot of pot potential. I think more than the other teams. Uh, that's why uh, I want to be out there. I want to be on the top with my team. I spoke to Joel shortly before speaking to you. and He said he was really excited when you re-signed your contract. Take me through that moment. I know you wanted to come back to Philly, but we weren't sure if that was how it was gonna pan out. How excited were you in that moment? Describe it to us. It was a little bit weird because I've been in Philly like almost four years. This is gonna be my fifth year. And then I was kind of like in and out, but I was in every time. So it was kind of like a little tricky for me. But overall, I'm so proud to signing this contract, to coming back to Philly, playing for championship, and playing for this city. Uh, I cannot wait again to get into Wells Fargo to get the work done. If you think about yourself, maybe when you were 16 or 17, before you came over here, what advice would you give to your younger self before your career started? Uh, I think I did a good job. I was just had a bad luck. I just had a bad luck, like injuries, you know, all those stuff. Uh, I don't know, like, there's a couple things that I would say, but still I don't mind to make those mistakes because that's how you learn. So what advice would you give young Furkan when he was having a harder time? I would just say stay calm, just uh, keep being yourself because at the end of the day I will win. I knew that I, I was going to win. I want to ask you about the way we started this interview because you do bring levity to the group. You bring a lightness, you bring laughter, you make people happy. The fans feel it. Why is that important to you as part of your role, not just to perform on the court and be a good vet, but to make people laugh and to have a good time while you're doing it? Actually, I don't, li I don't like to be sitting in the locker room just with like this face, you know, looking down. I just want to laugh. I just want people to laugh because I think uh, this how the friendship uh, goes forward. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. I don't want to be something else or, or I don't want to be not myself. I just want to be myself and then people likes it. I'm glad that people likes it. I, uh, maybe some of the people, they don't like it. You know, sometimes when you hear too much energy or like trying to be funny. Here's the point, like I don't, I'm not trying to be funny. I think like that's who I am. That's why I'm also happy about that. You said that your team goal is to pursue a championship. What is your goal? What do you want to accomplish? What's your personal goal for the 2021-22 season? I, I, just wanna, I just don't want to be like, uh, represent myself as a shooter, you know. I want to put the ball down more defensively. I want to take one more step forward because I think last two years I've been taking huge steps. But this year is going to be even more important because every position matters. Last year we saw in the playoffs, like, you are losing the games by one or two points. Like, every position matters and then if you want to win something, everybody has to step up.
you had a truly electric hype video that you released of yourself working out. Can you take us through the production process? How did that video come to be? Because people loved it. So my PR team in Turkey, my team in Turkey, I think they did a great job. Uh, to be honest, I was not expecting to get a lot of reaction uh, from the, especially Philly fans, but probably my PR team, they knew that. That's why they did the video. But I was hyped because uh, that was a really good video. I like it when I saw the video because when you are recording those type of videos, you don't know what's coming because you are just giving the poses, you know, trying to be cool. But at the end of the day, when you see the video, it's totally different. So that's why I'm glad that um, they made a good job and then everybody liked it. Burke, that's the end of my questions. And normally I would wrap it up, but I'm going to ask you to wrap it up. Okay. Go ahead. So Sixers fan, all the NBA fans, thanks for watching us. Here's our friend, uh, Lauren Rosen. <laughs> or for Grand Cosmos, whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm mixed up right now. But thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. I was really, I really enjoyed and see you soon. It's going to be a long season. Me too. Thank you for having me, Ferk. You're welcome.